Anil Agarwal's Vedanta Group plans to invest 7.4 billion dollars in a chip manufacturing unit in partnership with Hanhai Technology Group or popularly known as Foxconn. Vedanta and another company LS have submitted applications for setting up display fab projects as well. We spoke to Akash Hebbar, Global Managing Director of Vedanta Group's display and semiconductor business. Get the latest on the company plans. What led to this decision to foray into the semiconductor manufacturing business? this uh, whole uh, electronics ecosystem that we are building is very strategic for our country we want to make sure that you know semiconductors is 25 billion dollars displays 10 billion dollars and this two are the main elements of any electronic item this will start br- bringing in other mm-hmm. industries into mm-hmm. our country and we will start seeing the whole of the 100 billion dollars start to localize this is anyway going towards 300 billion dollars in 2 to 3 years if we don't stop mm-hmm. it right now right so i think it is very imperative but also a very uh, bold move by our government to make sure that we are uh, localizing everything having said that i think you've uh, seen us talk about uh, vedanta investing 15 billion into this uh, in the last advertisement and now we are coming out and talking about foxconn we have an understanding now which is non binding we are talking about you know vedanta will bring in the majority financial arrangements operational arrangements making sure the site is ready all of that and foxconn is coming out uh you know with a 40% with all their technology know how training our people right so we are very complementary in our skills and we believe that with the government's scheme of 50% capital subsidy the state supporting us giving us good site utilities that this is going to be something that we can achieve uh and and you know you're not talking about like a 5 6 year industry uh, it is about 10 to 20 years uh, before we start seeing uh, and and 10 to 20 years because we will start seeing results immediately but but the localization of the whole ecosystem will take about 10 to 20 years which is what china started 20 years ago taiwan started 50 years ago and they have done it very successfully so we will now be the fifth country in the world uh, apart from japan taiwan korea china to have this ecosystem and we are very excited to be on the forefront of it that is where we stand and uh, i think modi ji's vision is very clear atmanirbhar bharat needs that we have atmanirbhar electronics that we have value addition that we have the value chain within our country and we are here to propagate that same vision and 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 it is and and you can see that countries outside are also believing in that vision by coming forth and tying up with us the local companies so why tie up with foxconn when it has no prior manufacturing experience foxconn has uh, a very very big footprint in uh, in the world in electronics manufacturing estm manufacturing they are a 200 billion dollar market cap company they themselves use 30 to 40 billion dollars worth of semiconductor chips and they have uh, that's number one right number two they also have the right technology india needs 28 nanometer chips and they have 28 nanometer technology which is the correct fit that we need to build something to capture the domestic market in india so that indian market can benefit from locally produced chips and number 3 foxconn is no stranger to india they have about 3 to 4 billion dollars in india and they are working already here right so these three elements along with the fact that vedanta is very well entrenched in india we work well with the government government works well with us and we're credible partners made this a good fit for us they have multiple factories around the world i think seven eight factories which use hardcore semiconductor applications so they are no stranger to semiconductor chips they have 28 nanometer technology and they are very well equipped with the people to run factories that uh, develop these fabs as you saw in our mou as well they are investing a uh, you know up 118 to 120 million dollars and uh, you know they are also putting in uh, their equity in terms of technology know how so they are there you specifically said that you're looking at 28 nanometer technology any particular reason why 28 nanometers is not a 9 nanometer it's not a 6 nanometer it is a tried and tested technology across the world in the last 10 to 15 years it is not cutting edge and india doesn't need that cutting edge yet because yeah. we are in the right place where mobile phones are around 100 dollars less than 100 dollars where 28 nanometer t- chips is perfect for that right so we are doing a me too methodology with an r&d center to look forward and grow it better in the next 10 years the pli schemes also are helping with this by the way the government's very active that we are not just pli schemes within the electronic space right so when you are looking even pli schemes in chemicals gases all of these are inputs for our wafer fabs we have them locally present there are local entrepreneurs who are setting up uh, 
uh, these facilities there are local existing companies who are setting up these facilities uh, we we could say that the raw material uh, network of the key suppliers uh, are are you know are obviously going to take lesser time to set up than a big fab so those those uh, companies will definitely explore in the next 6 to 8 months whether they'll come localize within our company uh, country or whether they'll do it from outside there will be certain part of raw materials i would envisage that will start coming from outside to begin with but it will start localizing when we start looking at economies of scale as well and that is the industry we want to attract right we want 100 companies coming from japan taiwan korea we want local thousands of companies to come up and say that we'll support this network we want the next entrepreneur to come up and say i'll make my own iphone i will make my own vivo i'll make my own oppo and not depend on the other countries to import this